Holy shit. SmackDown was at least 11 times better than Raw. Who saw that coming? Okay, so we're back. I'm Luchador Louie. This is the sexy, silent Stewie. And for the first time ever, we're doing a SmackDown review. Now, I know we said we weren't going to do a SmackDown review, but this is this is SmackDown Live, so we can get away get away with it's it. It's two different shows, just like the quality of programming. It was fucking good. It was awesome. It was good fucking shit. There was some bad shit, but I mean... The two hour time slot, way better than fucking three hours. There was not as much it, it didn't drag on. There was it no was filler. just filler. You know what I mean? They had a lot of good matches. And uh yeah, it was just uh it was all around just better than Raw. Now I know Raw didn't set the bar that high. No, like, it was but it's really not that hard to beat this week's Raw. But they could have set it higher for a night like this. Fucking SmackDown was good. Yeah. SmackDown was good. But let's start it off. Worst moments of tonight, and my worst moment was after the match with Natalia and Becky Lynch. Oh, fuck. Remember that? All the women had to come out, and they all had chips on their fucking uh, shoulders. Every fucking one of them. And they all had to prove themselves or something. They're coming out like, I'm the princess. It's like, this is me. I'm, I'm the one with pink hair. I don't give a shit what color your hair is. I don't give a shit how many abortions you Standard have. I don't give a shit what time of month it is for you. Women's bullshit. Women's there's, bullshit. There's a match going on. I, I thought versus Becky Lynch. And then for some reason, all these women have we to come out. We flipped from wrestling to the Ellen DeGeneres and, show. It's the or Ellen DeGeneres. Oh the my view. god. It's like, we gotta introduce bitches. all these fucking women, and there's no belt to go after. Awesome. There's no belt wow. to go after, Style and Stewie. I know, that is pretty shitty, but uh, still not quite as bad. So, what, as are they, is. what are they fighting over? Well, the women? Yeah. The Miz? I, I don't know. The Miz was worse than the women? You thought? That's. Yeah. What about the Miz? Okay, give, uh, he give blatantly it to me straight. ripped off the highlight reel from Chris Jericho. He's when ripped he went, it off for a long time, though. It's not he's had this that hard. He copied uh, Jericho's routine. Yeah, I'm the, introducing the best wrestler ever, myself. Jericho did that. Then he interviewed himself Jer like Jericho. Jericho Miz did Miz, come up with that. some shit. Yeah. Stop just ripping off Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho did such a great job that the Miz was like, fuck, man, I'm, I can do that. And is an imitation the best form of flattery? It is, and you know, I did. it was entertaining, but it's still, it's wrong. You know, I have a problem with uh, The Miz's uh, wife. Oh, She fuck. sounds like a deaf person, like how deaf people talk. She like, does. There's, there's just like, I don't, I don't like that. Shut, the, shut the fuck up, Helen uh, Keller. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Right? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. And I don't know, I, I can't say that was the worst moment, because I think, I think The Miz has some mic skills. I think he plays a good heel, and uh, you know what, I thought Randy Orton was going to come out, and he interviewed himself, and then Randy Orton did come out, and I, this, I is, this, is leading, this is leading up to my, uh, my most favorite moment of tonight, was when Randy Orton came out, and fuck, you know what, I thought I didn't, wasn't going to like him as uh as a good guy, because of course he's a good guy if he's coming out on The Miz, because The Miz is a bad guy, right? I usually like Randy Orton as a heel. I didn't think I'd like him. But he's playing like this, like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, badass. Badass. Dude. Like, anti-hero, kind of. Like, he said he said something about, he said, I'm going to kick your ass. He asked, he asked in the relationship who is pitching, who is catching. Yeah, we don't see that like, kind of edginess on TV anymore. You don't anymore. see that edginess. On, you didn't no. see that edginess on Raw. Fuck no. No, but fucking Randy Orton came out, and after that, it was Randy Orton versus The Miz, and that was a fucking great match. A lot of fucking... That was a good match. They were on the outside of the ring, throwing each other into the barrier. It looked good. It, yeah, it was a tight match. They have 
great chemistry together. That was a good match. It was a fucking great match. And fucking, we don't see a lot of matches. And like Randy, or Randy Orton just pulls that RKO out of nowhere. The only thing I didn't like about it was when he went back to the ground and he was like slamming his hands on the ground. I was like, please don't do that, Randy Orton. Because the RKO is way better when it just fucking comes out of nowhere and it's like, RKO, RKO. But yeah, like, Randy Orton's fucking good on the mic. He looks good. He looks like he's in shape. He looks like a wrestler. So the best moment has to go to Randy Orton tonight for his promo and his wrestling match. No way. Like you said, it's got to come out of nowhere. And what came out of nowhere tonight? That Rhino. Fucking Rhino came out of nowhere. Fucking Under the gore. ring. Gore, 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 Heath Slater. Out. What was I saying? What was I saying? I was fucking saying, like, when he came out, I was like, shit, is that Rhino? Yeah, and we're like, what the fuck? Really? We don't no watch way. NXT, because then they mentioned that he was, like, on NXT recently or something. I had no idea. I don't know. But, I didn't know wow, we don't Rhino that. on SmackDown. The best part. And that he came out of the ring. That is some old school 1996 style shit. Yeah, but all he did was gore uh, uh, Heath Slater. And Rad Randy Orton actually had a match and uh, was good on the mic. So, there you go. What do you got to say to that? What are you going to say? Like, well, a, gore, a gore is an equivalent to, to all, is to everything? At least, at least Rhino doesn't have to pretend to slither around on the ground like a snake. He is Rhino. So, yeah. I mean, really... He just goes by the name of Rhino, so yeah. He gores, so he's kind of like he a Rhino. People. That's a, that's his and character. It, it's straightforward and it's and it's uh, believable because I believe I like Rhino it. would do that. I like it, man. That was that was one of my favorite moments of the night too, honestly. But I just happened to like Randy Orton coming out a little bit better. But huh? fuck, man, that gore was sick. That gore was sick. It was pretty sick. But uh, okay, so my honorable mentions. I gotta mention this. I don't know if you have any honorable mentions, but my honorable mention goes out to fucking Zack Ryder who botched fucking everything in that uh, introductory uh, what was it a battle uh, royale or what was it or, uh, uh, yeah, it was yeah like, the battle royale the battle royale that yeah. was terrible Matt, wow, he, what was like, he doing <laughs> when, he, when he was gonna jump off the top turbuckle and he like landed on his feet but like he his knee gave out or something I really don't know he walked into and the then, back and, and then when he was yeah. gonna hit the fucking uh, Kalisto with his drop kick he like just landed on Kalisto's head with his uh, with his knees man like that was a good match he gets tonight he <laughs> good. it was funny man I think that that kind of made that match a little bit better. The fact that uh, Zack Ryder was so insanely bad. He went to the back and he knew that was his last shot. They're not going to push that boy no more. My <laughs> honorable mention just goes to Dolph Ziggler going to SummerSlam. I just didn't see it coming. Nobody could have called that happening tonight. And just on the no, straight... No, I called, I called Apollo Crews. And I thought it was going to be Bray Wyatt, to tell you the honest truth. I thought it was going to be Bray Wyatt or John Cena. I think it'd be better chemistry, to tell you the truth. If I do, too. Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose at SummerSlam. I don't know, but uh, but that, but that honestly, yeah, who did expect uh, uh, fucking uh, Ziggler to actually pull it off, and now he's the number one contender? Yeah, no one. And that's, yeah, my uh, honorable mention. Uh, not worth mentioning, uh, AJ Styles. You know? Oh fuck! Yeah. Anything to do with AJ Styles? I didn't. I don't even know how he's on the roster. Uh, happy birthday, there, Shrek! Happy birthday, Shrek! And uh, if you could uh, return that watch you took when you know you were over at my place the other night, a couple days ago, and you took it off my nightstand, yeah, I want that back. She's still ugly as fuck, though.